with just what st how stuff been going on, I just said just go out there and just execute every play. It looked like when you got to the sideline, everybody was just as happy as you were. Yeah. You know, what was that moment like? Yeah, it was good to um, you know be around the whole offense, um, just being around my brothers and everything. They were just happy as I was, like you said. So that was happy for me. I was happy. And I just want to keep creating those memories. What was that wide receiver's room like? I guess the next time y'all were watching the film together, y'all reviewing everything, and that play popped up again. What was the? Uh, I mean, it was kind of the same. We could kind of move on yeah. from it. We really harp on it. Like what to say about the depth, though? I mean, uh, when you got you know, you're, you're contributing. I mean, there were like three other guys. I think oh, they yeah. caught the first touchdown. Mm -hmm. I mean, Tyler had his. I mean, yeah, what does that mean? Everybody can contribute it's like crazy that. Crazy, just how much talent we got in the room. Like how much everybody can do something. Like from all the way. Riley, all the way from to Matt, all the young guys, everybody just in there contributing, whether it's on scout team or with the team. Mm -hmm. How competitive is it to make that, that trail, to get on the bus, I guess, as Kirby says? I mean, is there really guys holding their breath, wanting to know if they're going to be on that 70 man squad? <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course, but everybody trying to die and get around, like special teams, trying to find a way to contribute anyway, because you never know. It's always the next man. So. Has it always been like that, or do you feel like it's gotten more and more competitive each year that you've been here? Um, I feel like it's definitely it was kind of switched around, but I mean, ever since we went to the national championship, that's the expectations. So, I mean, it come with it. Like if you if you can't be consistent with it, then I mean, we'll find the next man. Would you have been uh, disappointed if you had made made it through your entire Georgia career though without scoring at least one time? Uh, uh, I mean, that's something that ever. Just because yeah. I always believed in myself. I said, he's going to get it one way. Yeah. What's the mentality for the road games? I know the South Carolina game had a lot of build up. Now we're hearing so much about Missouri's offense. How do you guys manage manage that part of the Georgia football players? Um, well, really, to be honest, you just attack every week. We know we can only worry about us and just practice. To We treat every game like the same. So as far as practice goes, we just – see how far we can go than last week, to be honest. The practice has been harder than the game so far? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I mean, what makes them harder? I mean, you wouldn't think that. Uh, I mean, I just look at it as if you put all of everything into the buckets during the week, then the game is going to be easy. Like, if I bust myself every week, every day of the week, when I know somebody else probably not doing that, then I know I'm going to be better on Saturday. So I guess you hit that goal of scoring for the first time this year. Do you have any other goals for your last season here at Georgia? Um, not like, I mean, you said, of course, I want to score more touchdowns. But I mean, I'm trying to see how many I can score in a game, to be honest. How many I can score, whether it's offense or special teams.